Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a manga face. So first off, you kind of want to draw a curved line from here. Well, you don't want it, you want enough space up here. So like do it, I would say probably about five inches down. And you just want to draw a curved line like this. And then on the other side, starting from about where the other one was, I would say good, I would probably say this is a good seven inches, somewhere around there. Just judge your distance, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then just do the same thing and make sure to connect them in the middle. And just start curving around at the same time that the other side curves, like this. And then what you want to do, from about here to where it kind of starts curving and goes straight up, you want to start curving again. And don't mind this, it's just, you're going to erase that later. And just try to curve, and you can start the other side too, and just try to curve around. Like that. You can kind of edit it and make sure it's all even like that and then from so you see how it kind of curves here to kind of form the cheek line and it kind of curves here well a little bit lower probably about two or three good inches from where it starts to curve you want to draw another curve that's not exactly um, straight but more curved and then comes back around Then do the same thing on the other side. And then for the shoulders, you kind of want to just curve gradually into the shoulders. And then you don't want to make it so vertical and then just kind of shoot straight down because that makes them look way too square. So you just kind of want to do natural curves as much as you can. And like this. And make sure the shoulder is a little bit couple inches longer uh, away from the face and do the same thing on the other side and then if one side is a little bit longer I mean a little bit taller than the other side just choose which side you like the look of better and then edit the um, side that you think it needs a little bit of editing so that it's the same and you can use a longer pencil to judge it to see see it like right there that's good and then you just erase this like that um but we'll just fix up some more stuff later okay so then we want to draw some guidelines starting from the bottom of the chin and then kind of do a curved line. Now it depends on which way they're facing or whether they're facing straight ahead. If they're facing straight ahead, you want to do a straight line going straight across. If you want to draw them more or less just kind of almost looking to the other side, you want to do a nice curved line this way. If they're looking this way, if they're looking that way, you want to draw a line that kind of curves that way. But since I'm drawing one that looks straight ahead, you just want to try your best to draw a nice straight line. I want to do it relatively quickly, like that. It doesn't matter if it goes all the way to the top. And then from then you want to draw one line starting from the cheek line, straight across. And again, it doesn't really matter if it goes all the way across or not. And then you want to draw one about two or three inches, depends on how big you want your eyes. Again, you want to do another one, like that. And there you got your guidelines, and now... We'll start with the eyes. I'll zoom in here really quick. Okay, so we've zoomed in on the eye. And first what you want to do is draw um, an oval like this. And from here to the other side, you just want to go across the top of your oval like that. And then on the bottom of your oval, from about here, you're going to draw a shorter line. 
like that. So from here, you kind of just want to draw a little eyelash and then a couple more going across. Like that. And then you want to draw another oval going to the other side. Like that. Just want to kind of outline it. Like that. And then what you want to do is just draw like a little shade from here. Like that. It depends on how the light is going on the eye. And there's going to be a little pupil here. It'll look kind of weird while it's not colored. But yeah. And that's the eye. And you can do the same thing on the other side. You want to make sure that they're not too close together and not too far apart. You want to make sure the eye is about the same size as the other one. In fact, mine's just a little bit too small. And any mistakes you make is okay. You just have to erase them later. And then make, make sure that it's not like a mirror where this would be on this side. You want to make sure that they're both the same shape, like that. And draw like a little pupil there like that okay so for the nose you want to go a little bit lower than this spot right there you just want to draw like a little line like that and that's pretty much the nose and then um, for the smile now you kind of want to cut it in half so it kind of goes this half and then this half like that and then you want to draw like a little chin mark like that. Okay, so next is the hair. And there's lots and lots, there's got to be hundreds of thousands of different hairstyles. But one thing you want to do is that you want to make sure that you draw the hair in a bunch of individual strands. Now you don't want to draw like the whole thing is like one big, you want to draw it all individual strands. You see what I mean? Yeah, and you want to make sure the hair is a little bit bigger than the head starting about an inch and a half to two inches above the head. You just want to draw it down. You can draw like little things like that. And, we, and you want to draw in a lot of individual strands. It's like one of the key parts. And going all different directions. Some are thicker, some are skinnier. like that and then starting from a little bit above this point you want to kind of draw some strands and then as you get past the eye they get a little bit bigger like that and you want to erase everything under this like that and then you want to do the same thing on this side and sometimes when you want to draw a colic you go up and you kind of dip down like this and then you pick it up and go to the other side like this and you do the same thing that you just did on the other side
like that. And then you want to continue this on the top, going across. And you kind of want to make sure that they continue up like that and these you just kind of want it to erase like that and that's how you draw the hair now we can get to the shirt now the now there's again there's got to be so many different styles like hundreds of thousands of different ways to draw clothes I'm just gonna do a straight across shirt off the shoulders um, you know just do anything you want this is there's just so many like that and now we go on to outlining where you just take you don't want a marker and you don't want a pen you want a gel roller there's so um, there's a couple different kinds but I recommend the uh, extra small and it's just a tiny little tip like extra extra small like the smallest that you can find you can get them at any kind of store I, got, I get mine at like pharmacies and stuff so and they're very cheap and you get like two of them for like three bucks so I highly recommend these and they're smooth to just you need to keep going you can't stop or else it kind of globs up so just um keep that in mind when you're doing it and basically you're just going over all the lines that you want to keep and make sure you don't like shake you, have to, you don't want to do precise movements because then you know like see how I did this if you do it really fast then it kind of comes off so you have to do it slow and you have to do it continuously so, but if you stop, then again it glomps up, so you just, it takes a little bit of practice, but, you know. And you just go over all your lines. Like that, and then other side. Like that. Now, um, sometimes you'll get shaky, but that's okay. Mistakes happen. Uh, it's not going to make or break your drawing if it's a little bit squiggly. And then you want to go on the top. And you want to kind of make sure um, that they continue all the way up like that. Yeah, I, you see I kind of mess up, but, you know, anyway, you learn from your mistakes. And you go across the head. like that and then you're gonna outline the eyes
and sometimes you can go over the hair because sometimes it's just how people draw it and I find it easier to do it that way. And make sure not to outline the pupil because that's only going to be there when you color it. Uh, um, I'm just going to shade it with a pencil. So I'll be doing that later. Just make sure you don't outline the pupil. And sometimes as you outline, you can fix um, some stuff. Like I kind of um, messed up the eyelashes a little bit, so I just outlined it a little bit differently. And, yeah. And make sure you don't outline the um, shoulder that's behind the hair. Make sure just to get the stuff that's um, shown through it. And then you race, which I'll probably speed up. Okay, so next up we're going to be shading. And when you do this, you want to make one um, one shade all across, and then we're going to uh, make it darker um, um, for actual shading afterwards. So well, um, since for the hair, we're going to do highlights. So what you want to do is that you kind of just want to, in a random pattern, do kind of like spikes across the hair. So I'll show you. And then just kind of fix it a little bit like that. 
and and then you want to do a little bit on the hair over here on the bottom and over here but since the lights coming from over here you kinda just want it to go look towards over there like that and then do the same thing down here like that. And then what you want to do that everything outside the shading you want to shade it in. I'll probably speed this up since it takes a while but you just want to do it very very lightly. Make sure you don't do it too dark and make sure that you have um, a pretty long pencil lead so that you can hold it here and just kind of scrape it across. So yeah I'm going to speed that up really quick. Okay, so next thing we're going to work on is the eyes. Let's zoom in here really quick. And what you want to do is, if you see that little bit of pupil, I saw that all. Okay, so what you want to do is shade this in. You want to try to make it as circular as possible. Still using the side of your pencil. Kind of work in little circles. make it kind of darker like that and then what you want to do is in a lighter shade go around the eye like that and then you want to erase a little bit here like that and then in a very very light shade make sure you miss the thing that you want to just skim over this part like that and then you can like draw very faint little lines here and then just kind of lightly blend them in like that and there you've got your eye and do the same thing with the other side.
that. Like that. Okay, so lastly, we're going to add the darker shade. So you want so from since the light's coming from over here, the hair you want to make darker on this side that's covering the face, like here, and then behind all the strands. You kind of want to make it darker from the strands that are underneath other strands, like this. And then over here you want to add just a little bit of shade. You want to do this with the very edge of your pencil, just like you shaded with the hair and the eye. Like that. And then you want to make this a bit darker. Like this. Make all of this darker. And then over here, you want to make this particularly very dark over here. And then make it later as you go. Like this. And then over here, make this a little bit dark, but a little bit lighter. And then over here, you want to make this a little bit darker. And then, like I said, next to the strands, you just want to keep shading like this. Okay, just like that. And then the eyes, you can make the top a little bit darker, very, very lightly. And then over here, under these strands, you want to make it a bit darker. Like this. And um, you can just fix it up a bit. And that's it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, like. Thanks so much.